You're looking at retailer Best Buy's falling stock price. It's off a little more than 3% today after falling more than 20% uh, over the last month. Joining me this morning is uh, Joan Salzman, who wrote about Best Buy this morning. Best Buy uh, reported its second quarter earnings, 91% decline. Yeah. This, is not, um, this is not a pretty picture right now for a retailer that... Uh, continues to, to look like bad news is happening seamlessly, seemingly every day. Yeah, I know. After yesterday, there was a 10% decline in the stock when the company announced after four months its pick for a permanent CEO. Meanwhile, uh, talks with um, founder Richard Schultz, a proposal to buy out the company, appeared to stall over the weekend. That combined with the fact that um, you know, reporting a 91% decline in profit. And because they have a new CEO coming in, not being able to discuss how they're going to be turning things around until he comes in and can, you know, digest the business and understand the retailing world and the retailing world of Best Buy means that investors don't have a lot to go on in terms of how Best Buy is going to pull itself out of this hole. Yeah, I mean, that's interesting. You know, you talk about the, the company said, we don't want to talk about what we have going forward because mm -hmm. we want our new CEO who we named yesterday to sort of to drive us forward. But if I take a step back, it seems almost like a convenient excuse whereas they don't actually have a plan to go forward quite yet. I mean, you're seeing a right. lot of wheels turning, but have you seen any real plan from this company for what seems like months? Well, you know, it's interesting. When um, Mike McCann stepped in as the interim CEO, he, um, in his first conference call, outlined um, a real, well, he gave a real change in tone from the company, um, talking about how there would be no sacred cows, how a lot of things would change. And now that he's going to, and now that he no longer is that person in the position to be kind of setting the tenor of the company, he can't tell investors how things are going to go. He has said that, you know, because in the past four months the company has made a lot of advanced work that they can pass on to Jolie, but because Jolie isn't there yet, they can't say what he'll be doing and they can't say, you know, what of that advanced work that he'll be taking in and keeping. Do we have any idea, I mean, if, as you talk to analysts, people who follow this company, mm -hmm. do we have any idea on you know, what, what, what are the potential avenues they can take? I mean, right. when you look at, you know, they, they like to say that they're going to be, you know, we're just going to take Apple's business model, which is a lot easier said than done. Do yeah. we have any other ideas on what they could do that may look whether it's an in-store feel that would be different. I mean, what do, we, what do we know about what they may look like? Right. Well, we know that they want to expand services. We know that they are looking at reducing their square footage. And we um, know that those are things that investors have been call investors and analysts have been calling for for a long time. Reduce your square footage. Get out of this big box mindset because it's become kind of an outdated model in this realm where you know, shoppers can go to Best Buy, look at products, and decide to buy them online instead of buying them at the actual store itself. And what about their online presence? Have we any heard about they, they may change that, you know, that, that look of how they, how they look on the web? You know, they haven't talked a lot about um, their own online initiatives. That's something, it seems like mostly what they've been focusing on is cutting the cost um, and moving into this model of this, well, like you mentioned, moving into this model of a smaller store that kind of builds on this Genius Bar Apple um, idea, but um, the problem with Best Buy, you know, at Apple stores, you only have, I mean, how many products does Apple have? How many products does a genius need to be a genius at at Apple compared to Best Buy, which has thousands of SKUs? Um, and it's just a lot bigger challenge to meet that kind of service-oriented ability of an Apple store in a store that's just so much more comprehensive. And then overhanging all of this is, is Schultz, right. who's going to try and, you know, it seems like going to try and um, take over the company and, and back go private. What, what's the latest on Schultz's efforts to um, reclaim the company that he founded? You know, there's not a lot more. It's just an ongoing tit for tat. Um, Schultz saying that, you know, things need to change and they need to change now. And certainly the results this morning provide some leverage to that argument. But um, it, we still don't know what private equity partners he'd be able that are, you know, willing to come and join him in, in such, an, such an offer. And um, until we know that, until we get some details on what Schultz thinks he can do to really turn around the company, then it's hard to say you know, whether or not his proposal will have any kind of likelihood of going through. Well, terrific. Thank you so much for joining us. Read okay. more about uh, Best Buy on WSU.com.